Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michaela Woods, and welcome to finally my first manga series review of the wonderful Full Metal Alchemist. So this manga series consists of 27 books, or volumes. Uh, I read them all in about the span of probably three weeks. Uh, it was drr, incredible. My first manga series ever, and I completely, completely love them. Now, I cannot pronounce English names, much less Japanese names, so this is who it is by. I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because I can't. You know the struggle. More accurately, you know my struggle. So yeah, if you've seen my manga haul, uh, you've seen that I got this along with Attack on Titan, so yeah, I decided to read this first because um, Attack on Titan, uh, the anime, is not fully done yet, and I sort of wanted to have a structure, but anyways, this is going to be my manga review and anime review of both the animes, so uh, it's not going to have any spoilers, um, I'm just going to kind of touch on everything because there's a lot to touch on, and if I go into spoilers, it will get that's a long video. But basically how I experienced the Fullmetal Alchemist story was I watched the 2003 anime first and I thought that the next one, I didn't really look into it, I thought the next series was just a continuation and it wasn't. So then I figured out that um, the Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood was actually more accurate to the manga series. And since I wanted to get into manga, I figured, well, I might as well <laughs> by this entire series because I really enjoyed the anime of the 2003 one. So then I read all these books back and I finished them back at the beginning of August and I completely completely loved them all. It was the greatest experience. It took a little it took a little getting used to at the beginning, you know, reading backwards and going the wrong way, but I I surprisingly picked it up really quickly. It was just an awesome reading experience. I, I loved it. It was very fast and I loved the characters, like everything, the plot, the story was amazing. So when I finished the manga series I went on to watch Brotherhood and uh, just I loved experiencing the story again so it was it was incredible and I completely completely loved it and if you haven't read a manga series yet I totally totally recommend picking up Fullmetal Alchemist um, this box set is like $145, but for 27 volumes plus a poster plus a novelization of some of the stories, I guess. I haven't read it yet, but, um, it's a pretty dang good deal. And, I don't know, just I just recommend picking it up and definitely diving right into it. And the anime is amazing. So first off, it's a quick little summary. Full Metal Alchemist is basically about these two brothers, Edward and Alphonse Elric. Their father left them when they were really young, so they don't really know their father. They kind of do. Not really, but um, they don't really know why he left. He just kind of left. And then their mother died when they were, I believe, 10 and 11. And basically having no parents, the boys wanted to bring back their mother and just see her smile again. And, you know, they wanted their mom. They were only 10 and 11. So, in this world, there is this thing called alchemy, which is basically sort of like a science, but a little bit of magic sprinkled in there. Of course, they don't call it magic. It is science. But, you know, obviously for us, it's like magical science. But basically, you can draw a transmutation circle and basically just create stuff, like out of other materials. So, like, you can build statues from the ground or make something with the same, you know, chemicals or whatever. It's... it makes sense. So these boys are extremely gifted in alchemy, and so using alchemy they try to bring back their mother, which is a big no-no in this, like, world. But they try to bring her back anyways, and this goes horribly, horribly wrong. Edward ends up losing his leg, and Alphonse ends up losing his entire body. So Edward, willing to do anything, he gets Al's soul back in this giant metal suit of armor that was just kind of hanging around in their garage or whatever. But in order to get Al's soul back into the suit of armor, Edward had to give up his arm as well. So then he goes through this kind of like therapy. He has a auto male arm and leg, which is basically, it's like 
prosthetic limbs, except, you know, you can move them because they attach it to the nerves, so, yeah, a little painful. But after that, he decides to become a state alchemist, which is basically like an alchemist for the government, so they use alchemy for the military and stuff like that. He joins the military to become a state alchemist because they have access to a lot of research that the military has and the government has, so they want to try to get their bodies back. And in the middle of trying to find something as powerful to bring back their bodies, their original bodies, they end up hearing about the Philosopher's Stone, and in researching that, they find out some things that they're not supposed to, and they get into all of these dark secrets that the government has been hiding, and just and they find out more about their father and more about all these other characters. So it starts off kind of innocent. These two boys want to get their original bodies back, but the story gets really, really dark and they get into some big, big things. So overall, I loved, loved the story. I love the characters. Alphonse is my baby and Edward is like the kind of friend that you want to punch but you're also like best friends with because how can you not? He's just Deep down, he's a sweet guy, and you gotta love him. So I'm trying to represent them, you know, silver shirt for Alphonse and a braid for Edward, even though I'm pretty sure Edward's braids look better than mine. But yeah, I love the character development that these two go through, and how they grow up more, and just, it's, it's awesome. The story is funny, witty, and action-packed, and full of surprising twists and turns, and it really drives home the theme of self-sacrifice and what it means to sacrifice things, you know. Their equivalent exchange, which you have to give something in order to receive, and sometimes you can give everything and not receive anything back, and that's kind of like the harsh reality of things. So there is a lot of important themes, and of course, you know, like, government conspiracies, what's really going on in the government, will we ever know? But yeah, it's a really, really awesome awesome series and definitely, definitely recommend it. All of these amazing characters get just great development and I love that when an author is talented enough to take a lot of characters and develop them, not just one. I like it when, you know, you at least have one character to, to develop, but when you have multiple and you develop everything, oh my god, it's incredible. And not to mention the art. The art in here is amazing. So that's basically my thoughts on the manga. Now quickly for the anime and sort of comparing the two. 2003, I liked the animation more in it, which is weird. You think they'd step it up, you know, it's newer, you know, new animation stuff, but it really, I like the animation better and definitely thought that it could be a little more darker at some times, even though this series can get dark and Brotherhood could, could get really dark, but yeah, it was, um, I really enjoyed it. It definitely did stray from, you know, the original story, but overall it wasn't bad. I still enjoyed it not knowing about, um, you know, the original storyline. So I, I still enjoyed it and I can still appreciate it. I mean, I still love the story. However, I do have to admit that I love this story slightly better, so I did enjoy the story of Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. However, that's basically this story. Um, the one thing that I had wrong that really stuck out to me, which is kind of nitpicky, but it is there, is Al's voice in Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. It was very girly, and in just in the first, in 2003 Fullmetal Alchemist, it was like, just a cute little kid voice. It was a boy. In it, it sounded more like a boy. In in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, it sounded a lot like a girl, and I thought it was something I could get used to, but I couldn't. And that was like the one thing because Al is like my favorite character. He can't sound like a girl. I mean, come on. But overall, I think I really like the ending better in this series, so um, the ending in the 2003 anime was kind of sad, and I cried in every ending just because you know, it's Full Metal Alchemist. You don't want it to end, but yeah, totally, totally, totally loved it, and I definitely, definitely recommend it. I cannot recommend it enough, and uh, I'm so happy that I picked up this manga series, and I can't, can't wait to review Attack on Titan for you guys because 
I'm like in Attack on Titan mode right now. Like I love it so much, so get ready for it. But yeah, overall, I really, really enjoyed this series, guys, and I think that if you love manga, you love this, especially if you love action, and if you haven't read manga, I mean, this was my first, and so definitely go check it out and read it. It's awesome. And also for anime, this is an amazing anime. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry, it'll make you love these characters so much because they're adorable. So yeah, that's basically all I gotta say. So... Have a great day, read a great book, and I'll see you all later.